Beautiful Taurus, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings and I'm coming to you today outside because it's a beautiful fall day and I wanted to um, bring in all the elements today to your reading and I know you guys are nature lovers so I thought you would like this. We'll see. Maybe the worst idea I ever had. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see. It's Sparky wanted to be outside too so he's enjoying the fall day too so he's gonna go play while I do your reading, okay? So let's see, I've got my coffee out here with you. And um, of course, the minute I got set up out here, it decided to get windy. So um, it's gonna be a little challenge with the cards, but we're gonna see what happens, okay? <laughs> All right, so Taurus, I'm looking into November for you. And Sparky, come back this way. You're gonna get my microphone, buddy. Come on, there you go, stay over there. Good boy, okay. <laughs> So I'm looking into November for you, Taurus, and we're gonna see what's coming in for November. Okay, let's see. Taurus, <clears throat> what do you need to know, Taurus? I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to spread these cards like I usually do. I guess I could try it, let's see what happens. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, maybe we'll try it. Maybe the wind will cooperate. Maybe it won't. We'll find out. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see, Taurus. What do we need to know for Taurus for the month of November? Month of November. I like to pull these by feel for you because I can get additional meaning in that way. And right now I'm just feeling a very warm, balanced energy around you, Taurus. Ah, that one's hot. Hot, hot, hot strength card. Look at that, Taurus. Really hot energy on that strength card. Happy energy on that one. Yeah, Page of Wands. Happy, happy energy on that one. You're going to be getting some kind of happy message. I could feel it already. What else does Taurus need to know? Taurus energy. Nope, that one. Okay. I'm going to pull these back up so they don't blow everywhere and we may get them back out but for now just trying to work with all these elements so here's what we've got Taurus um and I'm just going to hold these I'll see if I can show them to you as I go along okay so um the first card we've got here is the two of pentacles so I feel like some of you are um moving money around maybe juggling money from account to account watching your money a lot of, a lot of chatter here in my mind right now about money for you Taurus okay let's take those up the next card that's coming up here is um, three of cups and this is this can also be a juggling card sometimes but it can also be a really happy card and we'll see what the rest of them say before I comment on this one but there's something there about um, potential love celebration for some of you but for some of you it could be um three people involved in whatever picture they're going to bring in yeah we've got a king of swords reversed and a lover's card okay so taurus um based on what they're showing me so far i'm gonna say we're looking at potentially a love situation a love and relationship situation and i feel like there could be three people involved there may be marrying somebody different here in the picture. Uh, there may be somebody who has been manipulative in this picture, shown with this King of Swords reversed energy. I'm feeling like this person has been manipulative, maybe cut something out of their life, uh, maybe cut you out of their life. I feel like this is somebody that's on your mind at this time, Taurus. This King of Swords reversed is often somebody who's not very nice like extremely intelligent and 
very manipulative like when it shows up upside down this is somebody very manipulative and underneath that there's the lovers card so this is making some sort of choice about love and relationship choices involved sometimes this is the card of um three people you know love triangle kind of situation where you're making a choice between two people or somebody in the picture is and this is kind of in your aura at this time like you're either thinking about this king of swords or you're the person making choices and what's causing you a conflict at this time is some sort of a happy love celebration okay and this three of cups can be anything from a love celebration like a marriage uh, like a wedding that kind of thing and it can be three people you know involved in this picture and I think this might be why the juggling card showed up okay so again I always tell people um, you know this is a collective reading so this may not be everybody's reading you know um, it's impossible to get everybody's reading every time I try <laughs> but it doesn't always you know it doesn't always come out sometimes the the guides are very specific about what they're showing you so if this is your reading great hit the like button <laughs> if it's not your reading try again next time because um, you know it can really switch around okay so here we've got sorry I'm gonna keep these in order here I feel like a lot of you had a new beginning in love here's the ace of cups it did come up reversed almost like you weren't getting the love you wanted this is very much looking like a love reading just so you know um, we make it into finance money career also but right now, they are very definitely talking about love and relationship. There was something here where I feel like a love situation went into the past for you. Like, you were happy about it at first with this Ace of Cups. Like, there was new attraction. But then, they flipped upside down for some of you. And that is now kind of fading away into the past a little bit. This feeling of I just not getting, you know, what I wanted out of that somebody wasn't happy somebody wasn't feeling loved it may have been you you know there was something there where somebody just wasn't happy about this love situation and I think this is why this love celebration is showing up as a conflict for you at this time Taurus okay okay so the happy card <laughs> I pulled a couple of really happy cards and we've got strength and page of wands here showing up both of these had a lot of energy and both of them felt really happy when I pulled them so what I'm getting here Taurus for one thing you have a lot of inner strength okay a whole lot of inner strength shown in this card just a lot of inner conviction about what you want staying on course of course you're very grounded you're an earth sign you're very grounded you're gonna stay the course no matter what there's something here where you are calling on your inner strength in this situation coming up in the beginning of November. This is the very um, immediate future card coming up for you. There is a page of wands showing up here. This is the card I was like, ooh, happy energy. <laughs> and I pulled it right away. And you can see how happy that dog is in this picture. Um, this is very much showing me that um, there's some kind of happy message you know this is a message of good news like um, the page of wands is a messenger with happy news exciting news something you're going to be excited about you know it's it's a wands energy so it can be a fiery message it can be a passionate message it can be a um, message of hey let's get together <laughs> you know it can be all kinds of things um, along that line messages that will make you feel excited and happy okay and again this is coming up in November okay and we're in November so kind of looking at the span of the whole month for you in this reading so keep that in mind as we go along some of you might be saying oh I haven't seen that I don't know about that yeah you wouldn't know about it yet because that is definitely a future card okay I brought my coffee out here <laughs> okay so looking into okay looking kind of around your energy in the month of November I feel like there was an ending there's a ten of swords here I feel like there was an ending around you and it is reversed for sure so it's it's kind of like it's already happened it's kind of like it's not as bad as it 
was or not as bad as it could be this ten of swords but you know ten of swords traditionally is a card that says there's been a bad ending something's been pulled out from under you there may have been a feeling of being stabbed in the back kind of feeling okay but Taurus here's the thing you are the Empress okay and the Empress to explain this um, no matter what's happened, you're still very grounded in who you are, Taurus. Um, the Empress is somebody who sometimes is a mother, somebody who gives birth to either babies or businesses or empires, kingdoms, okay? The Empress is somebody very self-actualized, somebody who really knows what he or she wants. And I'm saying he or she because in a collective reading, this could be an emperor, okay? The cards are usually specific about... Um, you know, male or female, kings, queens, emperors, empresses, okay? They usually come up pretty specific, but feel free to reverse the roles um, as it suits your situation best, okay? But this empress knows what she wants, <laughs> okay? And this is very much uh, representing you at this time, Taurus. Wow. You are going, you're headed straight into being the queen of pentacles, shown in this card. And there's also this sense of uh, things being a little bit up in the air shown as this Four of Cups energy. So Queen of Pentacles, this is you, this is your hopes and fears. Definitely not fears, it's definitely hopes. Hopes and fears position in the tarot. And this is having to do with you being very grounded in finances, okay? Very good financial card. This is somebody who likes nice things, likes their property, likes their, um, their job, you know, very organized with money, okay? And it's right beside of this card of, I'm wondering what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> Your final outcome on this snapshot, and I'm gonna get some more, don't go away, because I'm gonna pull some more cards, but I can't leave them out with the wind. But this is very much um, you thinking about, I think I want more in my life, okay? This sometimes is the card of discontent, the card of daydreaming, like, what would I like next? I think Taurus is thinking about that in November, okay? So let's get some clarification on this and see what else they have to tell us, Taurus, okay? What else does Taurus need to know? I'm going to just let them talk to me instead of asking specific questions. Let's just see what comes up, okay? What does Taurus need to know? So pretty out here today. I hope you all are enjoying the outside reading. <laughs> I hope the sound is good. I don't know. I've never done this before. Maybe there's a reason most YouTubers don't do this. Probably the wind. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. Same card, different deck. Two of Pentacles, first card up. There is definitely juggling going on here Taurus somewhere in November for you this is definitely the usually juggling money but based on those other cards I don't know could be juggling people so let's see what else comes up what else does Taurus need to know oh some kind of major life change coming Taurus and I feel like it's already starting maybe picking up more in November judgment card okay some sort of big change some sort of um, thing of Taurus like uh, rising above a lot of things this is the card I, I love the judgment card I mean it usually has has a lot to do with somebody who is um, ascending for one thing it has to do with spiritual evolution and learning your earth lessons like passing them not learning them but graduating from them <laughs> you know going to the next level is what this card means and it can also mean your guardian angels coming in. There are always angels associated with this judgment card. It's very much a card of um, like divine intervention, you know, like your guardian angels coming in to help you and um, getting lots of signs about things that you're gonna be doing or where you need to go, what you need to do and that sort of thing. Oh, these cards are repeating. <laughs> Here we have Queen of Pentacles again, Taurus, okay? Uh, this showed up in the other um, deck for you, and this is very much where you're headed. This major life change is bringing you into a situation of 
where you won't be having to juggle money anymore. You're going to be very grounded in finance, as shown with this Queen of Pentacles. What else does Taurus need to know? <laughs> I can't, I almost can't believe this. Look at this different deck, Empress. Empress, again, Taurus. You are very much in this Empress energy of being very in control. I mean, this is the person in charge, this is the person who calls the shots, but not in a mean way. I mean, this is somebody who's very self-actualized, somebody that knows what she wants. And this is somebody who, again, is giving birth to what he or she wants, like giving, like bringing to fruition um, this, you know, babies or empires. <laughs> Take it as it resonates. This is somebody who really knows how to manifest, really knows how to bring in the whole world of what they want. Taurus, as usual, these are super powerful cards. Um, they're like, yeah, you went through all that situation, that love situation where there may have been people being juggled, there may have been a bad ending and that sort of thing. But wow, look where you are now. I feel like you've been through a competition, but you won. So look at this. So the five of wands came up right next to the chariot. Okay, so there was some sort of competition that you were placed in, but you won. There's the chariot, okay? <laughs> and this chariot is having to do with you. You didn't just win by default or whatever. You won because you put in the effort. You stayed on track. You stayed on, on the course, okay? You we really um, knew where you were going. You didn't, you didn't vacillate back and forth on this. You went straight forward for what you wanted. So this is a big success card and it's right next to competition. I feel like you had some competition. I feel like somebody was highly jealous of you, Taurus. I think you have dealt with some battles of some sort as you went through. They may have been legal battles based on um, this judgment card, okay? But here you are. Um, <laughs> you're the, the, king, the queen of pentacles, the chariot, the empress. <laughs> I mean... Taurus, as usual, I'm like, I'm sitting here just going, wow, seriously, these, I hope you could see all these, these are, this is an amazing spread of cards for you. When I ask for clarification, they're like, just tell Taurus, wow. <laughs> okay, your clarification is, wow, I mean, seriously. So I think I'll leave it there today because um, you guys are on such a good track. I always say I'm going to switch signs now and become Taurus. <laughs> it's really, really cool. <clears throat> so thank you for coming in today. It was great to see you. Um, I hope this outdoor reading worked well. <laughs> it was a little different and um, the wind's a little bit challenging, but that's okay. So anyway, thank you all so much. And I also want to tell you thanks for all of your super chat. Thanks. And if you've joined my membership program, thank you. We're having a good time there and glad to have you if you have. And if not, it's fine. Nothing's going to change here. I'm going to keep doing your Taurus readings every week for you. So don't worry. Okay. And I'm sure you're not worried. Taurus is not a worrier anyway. <laughs> so it's all good. It's all good. So anyway, thank you all for coming in and I'll see you again soon. Okay. Bye.